Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with My Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to share some projects that I've been working on. I haven't done anything with lace um, in a while, and I wanted to do some lace projects. Um, I have some gifts. I have some projects I just wanted to do for myself. So here we go. Um, this is an altered um, apron that I got from Dollar Tree, and um, a bunch of beautiful laces that I've recently gotten. So, I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, this is some, at the top, this is a, um, well, I mean, I'll start at the top. At the top is a um, hanger, a padded hanger that I got, like, at a garage sale. You guys, look out for those at garage sales. You can get them dirt cheap at garage sales. Otherwise, they're expensive. But I got this beautiful padded hanger. I put some beautiful um, wedding appliques on here. Um, then I have some dangle trim, and some of this dangle trim I think both of these are from Olivia, I think. I think one's from Olivia and one might be from um, a flea market that I recently went to, I think. Anyway, um, some Hobby Lobby trim. Now, the trim that's going all the way around, isn't this so pretty? This is a flea market that I went with, a flea, mar a flea market in California that me and Olivia went to. We went to several. It was so fun. And um, we, got, I got, we both got this trim here. And then, um, again, that same trim is here. I cut one up and I used it for the center here. Um, and then, um, these are some more appliques here. There's a bunch of appliques underneath here that I layered first. And then these appliques here, these have been dyed with, um, green tea. Look how pretty it makes the, um, appliques look. It's like a, um, champagne color. And that's what green tea does. I'm going to come in a little closer to that middle part so you guys can see. Let me bring this up too. Okay, so that's what the appliques are. And then like I said, I took that um, the trim here and I took a piece off and put it in the center here. This is um, an image that I um, copied from, I think uh, Pinterest or something, onto a piece of fabric. And then I stuffed it. So you glue it on on three sides. And then you leave this part open here so you can put some stuffing in there and then you can seal it back down with hot glue. And then I just trimmed it out with some rosettes and then some more trim here. And then on the bottom, let me kind of bring this, I don't know, I want you guys to be able to see the bottom. The bottom is a bunch of layers of dangles, which I love. And again, some of the dangles I got were from, was from Olivia, Olivia Hernandez. You guys have to go check her channel out. She is a beautiful artist, and she does so much beautiful stuff with laces and doilies. So much beautiful things. So go check out Olivia Hernandez for sure. Hey, Olivia. Okay, and then um, the bottom is done in, like I said, some dangle trim. So there's a layer here, another layer here, and another layer here. I think I put two, yeah. And I think two of the layers I got from Olivia, and one of them I got from that flea market. I think the one on the top I got from the flea market. And these other two I got from Olivia. So I went three deep in Dangle. So I'll show you kind of. Hopefully you guys are seeing that. So there's that Dangle. That's what this Dangle looks like. And then the last Dangle, which is that, which I think is gorgeous. And then this piece here underneath is another long piece, and um, I doubled it up, and I think it just looks gorgeous. I think I got that from Olivia, too, I think. So, I think this turned out so pretty. You guys, I got this apron from, um, this, uh, apron from uh, Dollar Tree. So, it was just, let me show you the back. It was just a Dollar Tree apron. There's some fuzzy stuff on the back I have to get off of it. But it's just a Dollar Tree apron from Dollar Tree. So if you see these at Dollar Tree, pick these up. And you can totally lace them out like this. I think this turned out gorgeous. Okay, so next. Let me put this to the side somewhere. I don't know where. I have stuff everywhere. Okay, next is a mixed media piece I did. And... Let me make sure you guys are seeing that. Let me come out a little bit. Okay. 
come down and then you guys can see everything. Just a second, you guys, while I'm just trying to just make sure you guys can see everything. Okay, there we go. So you guys can see most of it. Okay, so this was one of those um, mason jars from Dollar Tree again. So I didn't even change the back. I just left it the way it is. Um, and, uh, so it was one of those mason jars from Dollar Tree and I turned it over and I started doing my, um, my, um, mixed media on here and it's very Finnebar inspired. Um, I like to call it salvaged art. So I did some salvaged art on the, on the, on this. Um, these are dollar, these are flowers I got from Dollar Tree right here. Okay. Um, these are the, some, a bird that I got from Dollar Tree. I stuck that in there. Um, the base of the whole thing is always done with book pages first, then pattern paper. Then I use um, some type of cheesecloth-y stuff. You can get it at Dollar Tree, but you can also get it anywhere else. Um, what other texture? Uh, for texture also, I like to drip hot glue over everything. And then I do layers of cardboard, layers of, of um, burlap. Um, paper, just all these different things. So that's all layered underneath here to get that texture going. And then on top, I have two uh, angels that I got from Dollar Tree. This up the top here is a little broken piece of, um, little ceramic piece that's broken, that broke, that I, I always save everything that's broke so I can throw them into my salvaged art. These are little pieces that also, I, I make my own molds and then I um, take plaster of Paris with glue and I make that mixture and pour them into molds that I make myself. I need to do a video on how to make molds and then how, how I do the plaster Paris and glue mix. I'll do a video on that. Um, this is another one of those plaster, plaster Paris pieces I made. Another piece there and another piece here at the bottom. And it was kind of a broken piece. And then there's some jewelry bits here and there. This is um, some spools. This is a Christmas tree decoration from Dollar Tree. And these are Christmas decorations too, the angels. Um, this is a broken cross that I've had for a while. And then this is some, um, some like little picks and stuff that I got from Dollar Tree. So I take all this, I range it, I collage it all on here. And then, um, I take, um, I take a thing called kills, which is nothing but a white, uh, paint primer for walls, or you can use gesso white out the whole thing. And then I took some very light, light pink and Robin's egg blue paint and watered it down and kind of splashed it on all of this. Then I took a little bit of gold, um, Inca golds. It's gold and they're called Inca golds and just kind of rubbed it here and there with the gold. So I love how this came out. I love doing these mixed media pieces. Obsessed with doing them. I think they're so fun. I have a video on how to make these if you guys want, uh, to look and see how I did it. Um, there's not one way of doing any of this type of work. I mean, I'll just show you my process and then from there you can do whatever you want. So, okay, so there's that. Next, I'll just show you the card I made. I made this beautiful card. I think it's printed out pretty. And again, if you notice all my work, people are like, oh, you do so many different things. Not really. When I showed you that altered apron, you guys, it's a collage. I just chose to use laces and doilies and fabrics and appliques. And then the one I just showed you, again, that other mixed media piece, that is nothing but a um, collage. If you think about it, this one, I just used different materials. I'm just using different materials to do the same damn thing. Again, this is another collage <laughs> with this card, right? So, I do the same thing over and over. I'm just doing collages when you really look at it. So, let me see if I can come any closer. Let's see. If I bring this. Okay, I bring it back and that shows more. Okay. Just trying to get my camera angle right for you guys so you guys can see up as close as possible, but see everything. Okay. Okay. Let us come out just a little bit more. Yeah, now you're seeing everything. Okay, so um, I just took a piece of 110-pound uh, cardstock. I um, at five and a half, I scored it, made my own card base. Okay, so like on the back, it has um, handmade by Angie Bell. I have a little um, stamp that I sent off for, which I love. 
and we'll just go through this really quickly. Um, the paper stack I used, but you can't even see the damn thing, was a Prima stack paper, which I absolutely love. It is so beautiful. I don't have it with me here. Oh, darn, I wish I had it with me. I'm not going to show you the inside of the card because it is for somebody, and I don't want... It'll give it away. So anyway, um, so I just, like I always do, I collage all the stuff together. Again, that same um, angel that was on the... Um, that um, that salvaged art piece I just showed you, that's the same angel. I used it here at the top. I painted it light pink with some watered down acrylic paint. Here's a little feather. And what underneath all this, I layered a lot of stuff on here. Like before I have the Prima paper, but after that I put tons of uh, appliques and doilies. I put some of this lace here. I put some trim there. So all that's on the bottom before I get started just so you have all those beautiful layers. And you can see that kind of stuff peeking out. Like here, here's some more um, appliques. There's another like doily under here. You see little things peeking out. Like here's some trim at the top. Here's some um, lace, a long piece of lace that I have here. And at the bottom, I just like them hanging off. This piece here, I just like it kind of hanging off. And so anyway, um, and underneath here, I have a rosette, which I have this angel on top of. Um, I put some roses here. I back that with some fun fur first down in there. A little feather that I painted white. A butterfly I painted white. I also put a little glitter on there. These are two bird cages here. Uh, this is a bird cage. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz bird cage that I had cut out a bunch of pieces a long time ago. And I put one of those um, trim pieces at the top and cut a piece off and put that at the top of that bird cage. And that's made out of like cardstock. This one is a wooden bird cage from my stash and then I painted it white and then I just sloughed over some a little bit of pink on there to make it kind of look very shabby so it's not fully painted and then I put a rhinestone piece I think I got that from Rhonda Lee and then um, from my stash I um, painted this out white with some gesso I gessoed the uh, butterfly I used to sell all these metal pieces so I have tons of them um, this bird is Dollar Tree painted it pink then I uh, painted it pink, and then I glitter I put some uh, glue on there, and then glittered it up. It's it's landed on a little bed of pink fun fur. This is a little frame I got from the Dollar Tree, from, from Michael's Dollar Fifty section. Got it for fifty cents. Picked up tons of those a couple years ago. I filled it with buttons. I put a little piece of trim here. This is a little scroll I made out of music note paper. Here's a little key from my stash. I used to sell those. I just sold that. Here's a little, um, a little uh, angel wing or fairy wing that I went ahead and gessoed from my, um, from ones I used to sell. This I had created a long time ago. It's a, um, a cross, and then I glued E6000 all these stones on there. And then I'm just making sure my camera's still on. Yeah. Okay. And this is a little collage of flowers down here that I collaged all up. Um, what I do for my flowers a lot of time is when I'm at Dollar Tree, if they have like a, a bushel of flowers that are really nice and small to fit on projects like this, I usually pick them up from there or any dollar store. So I don't have to end up paying a lot of money for these flowers. Um, and then um, and then these little small rosettes, I actually got a bunch of these at a thrift store, these little rosettes for like a dollar or two. And I got like 50, 60 of them. So look at it at thrift stores too. And then I took... Um, I took some uh, glitter, took glue and put glue over all this and then just sprinkled glitter over the whole thing. This is a, a butter butterfly I made out of a rosette and a uh, cereal box. Made a bunch of those a long time ago. And then this is a little uh, butterfly from my um, that I used to sell. I went ahead and gessoed that out and then a little piece of bling from my stash. And I think, um, yeah, Ronald Lee gave me those too. Gave me that one too. So that's the card. I think it came out gorgeous. I'm not going to open it because I don't want to give this away of who this belongs to. Okay, so that's the card. And then I made... It. Okay, this was originally... You can see the back. This was one of those... Um, the heck is on here? This was originally one of those placemats from Dollar Tree, which I love these placemats. I bought tons of these. I have a stockpile so I can make these for gifts, make them for myself. So I made this little purse or little bag. Let me see how much time I have. Okay, made this little bag or this little purse. You can use it as a bag, as a purse, whatever you want to do. Okay, 
And so what you do is an easy, easy thing. You just take, um, you take your placemat, you fold it to this certain point here, and then you bring this here. And once you do that, you just hot glue the sides. That's it. And it's, it, it works out really well. Also, I buy some, um, I got Velcro, so it Velcros together. Um, you can buy the Velcro if you pay, if you keep a lookout, these are the Velcro and then you can get them at Dollar Tree, the little small round ones. I bought tons of these when I saw them because if you go to Joan, if you go anywhere else, Hobby Lobby, Joanne's Michaels, they are not a dollar for that kind of stuff. So I bought tons. Okay. So, um, I just trimmed it out in that beautiful trim that I got at a, um, at a, where I got a big, huge spool of it at a flea market in California. Um, so let's open it up. Okay. And then again, I trimmed it out in that same trim again. I just layered a ton of apple of, of appliques um, all together. And I just layered and layered and layered and layered and layered. I even did a like one that's like kind of like in a V style. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's really pretty. It's like this. And then this is another beautiful applique. And I um, dyed this in um, green tea. This is what you get when you dye with green tea. Is that gorgeous? You get a champagne -y color. I think it's gorgeous. And then um, at the bottom, I tripled up on this beautiful um, dangle trim that I got at um, one of those flea markets in California. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So that's that trim at the bottom. Okay. And I doubled up on it. I was running out of dangle trim, so I thought, well, I have a lot of this. Why don't I just double up on that? So when you're running out and you have the same trim, just double it if you need a, you know, because I like to put either double or triple layers of dangles at the bottom. I think that makes it just look more rich and more luxe. And then I, um, oh, and then I have it filled with some goodies. So these are beautiful to make to give to friends because you can fill them with goodies and then they have this bag to use. I mean, this is so beautiful. You could use this when you go out at night. I think that would be really pretty. I need to, yeah, I need to make one for myself. Anyway, so there we go with that. And then... I showed, okay, I'm just going through everything I did. I showed that, I showed this, I showed that, I showed that. Okay, and then this is the last thing I want to show you. Quick, quick, quick. It's one of those pumpkins. Remember those pumpkins that I made? I have a video on um, how to make these pumpkins from um, Target. Very simple, easy, easy to do. So if you want to know how to make this, if you don't already know how to make these um, Target pumpkins that were in the dollar section, watch my video and I'll show you how I did it. Um, but anyway, I took one of those pumpkins that I made and I just went ahead and threw, um, appliques all over it. Isn't this gorgeous? Olivia, when I went to her house, um, she, she, she had made some pumpkins and she made some beautiful ones. And I'm like, oh, I should throw apple. I think she had some with appliques and laces too. So I just thought, you know, what? I need to do that. So I just wanted to show you guys that. So I threw these out, these wedding appliques all over it. People are taking them instead of like a pine cone, they'll put like an antique spoon in the middle. That would be gorgeous too. I already had the pine cone on there, but I do want to do some with some like antique looking um, spoons. Some people have done sticks, done cinnamon sticks. I think that's a great idea. And then um, I just decided to throw in this trim. This is some beautiful Hobby Lobby rose trim that I got. And I just did that. So just wanted to show you guys how I changed it up. And that's what it looks like on the bottom, how I changed up these um, pumpkins. So those pumpkins are a blank slate. You can either leave them alone or you can dress them up even more and do really, really pretty things with them. So absolutely love this. You know, this would make a great pin cushion just like this. I never thought about that. But these pumpkins would make great pin cushions or um, stick pins to put stick pins in. I mean, how beautiful would that be to make up a bunch of stick pins? And then stick them all in this pumpkin, and now it's a pen cushion. I love that idea. That makes me an gives me an idea for Christmas presents. Okay, you guys, that is it. Um, I just wanted to share some projects that I've been working on, and um, and that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do so. If you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay? Bye!